Love the shabby chic look? Possibly one of the most popular trends ever, shabby chic is still going strong almost 20 years after the term was first coined. Pretty pinks, white wood and nostalgic accessories create a romantic scheme. With blowsy bouquet prints, there's no denying the feminine nature of this look. Recreate the charm of rural France using muted textile prints and rustic wood finishes. Paint walls in a delicate duck egg shade, then add furnishings in rich cream and distressed painted wood. Shabby chic style was born in the 1980s and is getting more and more popularity in the world of interior designs at the moment. Shabby chic style is often defined by a countryside chic aesthetic and is a perfect blend of natural, rustic, modern and chic. Decorating with lace is at the heart of shabby chic design. It's easy to find lace treasures at flea markets, yard sales, and thrift shops for mere pennies. Lace dresses up the most casual of occasions, even paper plates. Right now, shabby chic is undergoing a bit of a facelift. Today, we're seeing it remixed in a way that's reminiscent of French country design. This style has always involved European influences, and the more modern take on shabby chic involves European elegance, taking the place of some of the more kitschy elements of the traditional shabby chic aesthetic. Choose classic designs like florals, stripes and polka dots, but be sure to stick to a palette of sugary pastels, such as powder blue, mint green, blush pink and lemon yellow. When you go to the thrift store or a yard sale, are you drawn to doilies, vintage linens, and tablecloths? Grab some burlap cut into a square, a table runner size, or another shape to fit the table you'll be using your new tablecloth on or use a plain tablecloth or sheet as a base for your creation.
A little history on shabby chic. The style started in Great Britain and evokes the type of decoration found in large country houses where there are worn and faded old chintz sofas and curtains, old paintwork, and unassuming good taste. The end result of shabby chic is to achieve an elegant overall effect, as opposed to the sentimentally cute pop Victorian. Recycling old furniture and fabrics is an important aspect of the look and was especially popular with modern bohemians and artisans that made up a sidelined counterculture movement during the 1980s when expensive quality decor became very fashionable with the upper middle classes. The original shabby chic interiors were usually considered in themselves works of art. The early forms of shabby chic were rather grand, but the style has evolved taking inspiration from many forms of decoration. These range from 18th century Swedish painted decoration, the French chateau as well as the American shakers where simplicity and plainness was essential. The phrase was used descriptively through the 20th century for both fashion and decor, and was popularized as an interior decorating style by Min Hogg in the World of Interiors magazine in the 1980s. It became popular in the United States in the 1990s with a certain eclectic surge of decorating styles with paints and effects, notably in metropolitan cultural centers on the west coast of America, such as Los Angeles and San Francisco, with heavy influences from Mediterranean cultures such as Provence, Tuscany, and Greece. Thank you. 
You could still have a very simple chandelier, a very simple sofa, but then just a quiet thing of flowers and just a quiet rug, it doesn't need to have all the clutter. I don't think shabby chic ever truly went away, but it has re-emerged better than ever as a much more cleaned up coastal look with a tailored approach. There's no question why shabby chic design is so appealing to many. When done right, this style strikes the perfect balance between feeling relaxed and looking pulled together. <laughs> 